But going in front, you make the connection, right? You make the connection, right? Right, turn, and then you cut. So going behind is the same thing. Okay. So the most important thing is the initial connection. So it's like in Shihon Nage, you have a movement across here. So basically, in Shihon Nage, there's a one one body, and you you feel the one body across the hips, although you always want to be conscious of this part too, but particularly here. So that what happens is if I feel this as one, then as I turn, right, that's what happens. Right. Right. So there's nothing to do. It's almost the same. Right. Technique is almost the same. So, so now there, there are different things, right? There's, there's this movement across here. Which is not that tight, so you relax. And there's the center cross here. So again, the emote, we go forward. Right? Right? Come from the sword. Right? But your movement is always done in a state of connection or unity with your partner. And the, the techniques are uh, different ways of achieving that. For instance, in, in Ikea, right? Inkyo, right? It's like the boom. It's like that, right? Like, like, right? So I'm picking the toes, head, right?
It's almost the same. But where the, the first basic movement goes here, the ura goes out here. Right? And I'm staying behind this line, like ura. So that's the multi. So now what people are doing, you know, they're making this kind of big thing, the kind of big circular thing, and kind of, that is not ura. And, uh, uh, in, the, I'm, in the moves, there is during the tenkan, tenkan is turning, but, let's see, it's actually right, it's like, right, so, it's, it's, I'm out of the side, right, see, I'm way out here, notice, notice also, from a martial arts standpoint, I can't be anything, and I turn, and now, just drawing this down. Cut. So you cut. So you can feel the full throw. So people are kind of like this, and then the person doesn't really fall. You know, there's no energy in their fall. That's no good. Right, so it's the same feeling. It's like, bro. Essentially, what you want to be able to do as you practice is get a sense, a certain point in your practice, there's a, you want to get a sense that Aikido has no separate moves. So, something said in the time of Mozart. I don't remember what it, he said, but it was said at the time. That, um, you want to feel all the moves as one move, essentially, which should happen spontaneously. So that's why, basically, you want the moves to be an expression of, first of all, you want to consider the move as an expression of oneness, right? connection. And, uh, you don't want the move to the degree that you can, in terms of your own direction or your own intent. You don't want the move to be, I'm doing the move, well or not well. This is how to do the move. Right? I'm doing it well. I get it great. Uh, good. That's not the story. So, uh, once you know the move, right, then, then we, can, we can work on the spiritual part. So, the first spiritual part is this thing of connecting and in Kiyonage it's across the hips, right? Mm. But that's just the beginning. Because this connection with the partner is Musubu. And we learn Musubu, which is a way of connecting, which, which brings about changes in the sense of if we learn something or discover something, but it's all internal. Okay. And we connect actually with the universe. Okay. So, doing the same thing, not only do I, this is just the base, once I have that, it's not this, this, but that. <laughs> And that, which is connecting, right? <laughs>